show you the stuff that I picked up for Noah. I'm going to try to build her kindergarten um, curriculum um, just from the Dollar Tree. So, um, I already have some things and I was just going to show you what I picked up. Um, or not just from the Dollar Tree, but basically from the dollar store or thrift stores or something like that. I'm just going to try to build it as cheaply as I can. But this is what I picked up today. This is, um, it says kindergarten scholar. It says ages five to six. Um, she's four, but she will be five in September. But, um, I showed this to my husband. He was like, that reminds me of the highlights magazines that we used to get when we were little. But, um, it just, it's really colorful. This one says kindergarten scholar. And it reminds me of the books that um, we've gotten with Timberdoodle for the past couple of years. That um, it, they're called Building Thinking Skills. And the pictures are different, but it just, to me, it helps you think. Like right here, it says rhyming. And it says goat rhymes with boat. So in each group, circle two pictures whose names rhyme. So you've got house, flower, mouse. So, obviously, she would circle house, mouse. It just gets them to think about different things. So, I really like this book, and I like that, it, that, like, the way that it's illustrated. It's not super cartoony. It just, I don't know, it just looks really cute to me. I really like that. So, that's one of the things that I got her. The second thing that I got her was this. It's called Math Readiness, and it does say grades K through 1 ages five through seven. I should have actually got two of these and I could have let my um, eight-year-old just kind of practice in them when she wants to because she'll go into our homeschool closet and she gets stuff out all the time um, to do even when we're not doing schoolwork. Um, but it just says one, the number one, the word one, and then it shows um, one chair. Match one with groups of one. An example is done for you. So the number one matches to one book. So she would just match the things that just have one. And basically that's what this whole book is. is just different little activities. Teaching her her numbers and basic counting skills. Oh that's cute. At the end there's a little certificate. That's really cute. It says great job. And you put their name. It says finish the math readiness book from school zone. That's cute. So there's that. Oh, that's neat. I've never heard of that. It says little scholar growing smart every day. Um, 200 plus apps, videos, songs, and books. No extra, extra purchases, downloads, or Wi-Fi needed. Reporting app tracks progress. Schoolzone.com forward slash little dash scholar. I'm, um, I'm going to actually try that out and see see how um i would like that it's free so i'll probably put a clip of me going to that uh website in uh this video and show you guys what it's what it's about you probably are or you may already have known about it let's see it's to say that on the back of this one yep i did not see that this next book that i got her says my first words sticker and activity book um it looked kiddish to me but I opened it anyway because I liked how bright everything was. And this is over 50 fun learning stickers. So I opened it up and it tells you how to use the book. And then um, this is what it looks like on the inside. So for example, it says my first animal words. Animal words are fun to learn. Add the missing stickers, then draw a line between each animal and the first letter in its name. So to me, I mean, I know it says my first words, which seems like it would be babyish. Um, and it doesn't have an age. Oh, okay, right here it says three plus. It just seemed, I don't know. To me, that just, that's not an appropriate wording for it. For I don't know. It just, it was deceiving to me. But I still opened it just because I wanted to see what was on the inside. But um, it's just basically teaching you animal words. So this one over here is a bird. And then it's got the letter B beside it so you're finding the first letter in each name of the animal and then it just moves along there's food words and a dinner time puzzle 
It says draw a yummy meal on the plate. Write down what you have drawn. Um, and then there's different spots. I guess these lighter spots that are um, dotted around here have stickers that match them is what I'm guessing. Yeah, so here's the stickers that goes with it. And they're just kind of stapled right in the middle there. So that's that, and um, these books aren't going to last just super long, but I mean, they were a dollar, so I could go back and get more. And then on here it says, and I saw these, I saw the, um, I saw the colors one. I did not see the numbers, and I don't, didn't see the My First Opposites, but if I do see those before next year, I will probably go ahead and pick those up for her um, to help her with numbers. Even though I got the math book, I mean, she's going to need way more than this. And these are just workbooks. I haven't started picking up like the hands-on type stuff. Well, this is kind of hands-on. This is the next thing that I got. And it is just a chalkboard. And um, it's double-sided. But what I'm going to do is, I saw this on this um, website called uh, Jane.com. I'm going to do a DIY like um, thing for her to copy her name so I'm gonna permanently write her name Noah Zen Reed on here and then um, it'll be where she can trace over it and erase what she wrote but what I have will still be here I'll probably do a video on that but I really liked that but I knew that I had saw these at the Dollar Tree and so I figured that I could try to DIY one the next thing that I got was this National Geographic kids book and it's basically just a um, just an activity book there's some pictures to color but then there's also some word searches and some mazes uh, that one's a dot to dot a fill in puzzle write a story so I'm going to just kind of give these to my kids as they are appropriate we've got a um, nature not a nature study but a um, aquatic animals um, couple of different units on aquatic animals and I figured this would just go with it um, when we're doing that part of our schooling next year just to kind of tear out these like my son will probably be the one to do the fill-in puzzles um, mazes Noah can do which is kindergarten and then the word searches which I saw um, let's see I'm not seeing one right now You guys know what a word search is, but those I'll probably give to, like this, I'll probably give to Anaya because that's more her level, um, things like that. So I'm just going to, these are just kind of supplement, um, to supplement something that we're already doing. And then I also got this I Can Write Cursive. I think that I've already purchased one of these, but I can't quite remember, but my son needs to practice his cursive handwriting and um so does my daughter and it says that these are uh reprodu reproducible <laughs> but um I couldn't remember if I had bought one or not so I just went ahead and got it um and I may have stuck them in my little um dry erase ABC practice book that they have but I think if I did I'm gonna um leave those in there and then I'm just going to actually let them write on these but it's got a animal or a picture this one has a flower for F and you're just basically practicing writing in cursive so and I don't know if they still teach that in public school but um, I just that's something I want my kids to know so that's that and then I got this um, it says that the cursive one is second through third and then this one, the Educational Draw and Write, is grades 1 through 3. And it just comes in this little uh, plastic packaging. Let's slot it out. And it's got a little monster on the front, which I thought was pretty cute. Um, I don't know if there's any monster pictures in here. So far, I just see bugs. But um, it says ladybugs are beetles, and then it just shows you how to draw one. And it says draw ladybugs in a garden, then read about beetles. So it just wants you to draw here. You so you've got this that you can color and kind of follow along to draw your own ladybug, and then a coloring uh, sheet down here, and then a short little story about ladybugs being beetles. 
and let's see I was hoping that 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 they were that way um, so on the back of that there's vocabulary words it says animal beetle garden plant small and waste and then at the top of this it says write about beetles in your writing try to tell the name of a beetle what beetles eat and where beetles live so this is going to be really great um, for Anaya to just get some little facts in here and there just something to go along with you know everything else that she's already going to be doing um let's see that one's about rabbits and they all have a few vocabulary words on the back and then it tells you to write the story there's the family pet a turtle is always home life in the trees about birds so it's just um a bunch of different sheets that look the same but they're all just um a little story on different things so i thought that was really cute i'm glad that i got that um, and i think that's the last thing that i wanted to show you but um i am going to go back i'm going to go grab my computer and pull up this website so we can see what that's all about it has shop up here let's see and i've never been on here this is my first time going on here so uh, it says shop all, so we'll just hit that and see what this is. Oh, that's cool. I'm really going to look at this because this is going to help me um, build her um, curriculum that I was talking about earlier. I did not know that this existed. I am so excited right now. So here's um, Alphabet. That's so cool. Ages three to six and you can buy this. So I'm assuming that this is a larger book because these are very thin books and obviously they were a dollar. Oh, okay. That's neat. They're um, actual uh, tablets. I wonder if that's what it's saying. The best tablet to prepare kids for pre-K through first grade. So you purchase this tablet. So I wonder if there's there's not any games that you can actually play. It's a tablet and these games are loaded onto there. So there is a free app that you can download. It's just not. So there's the little emblem and then it just says Anywhere Teacher. It's a Mac app. It's really neat, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm actually excited that I found this uh, website. You guys probably already knew about it. I'm probably late to the party, but uh, I'm going to do a little bit more research on this and I will probably order some things from here and um, do a review of the website and of my products that I order. So I will see you guys next time and that's going to be it. Bye.